Our senior design project for mechanical engineering at NDSU was to create a continuously fed system for biomass torrefaction. The group members were Dakota Germain, Lucas Kostelecki, Ewald Peterson, and Jared Tilt. Shown is the microwave that we were tasked with modifying. First, we modeled some initial concepts. The conveyor option moved the material through the microwave on a conveyor belt with openings on either side. We thought this would have too much heat loss. Next was a simple through pipe design. We did not think that this would optimize the space inside the microwave and didn't like not being able to independently control the input and the output. The final design utilizes an internal hopper. The key difference in this system is that it uses two separate augers for the inlet and outlet. It also has a hopper in the center of the microwave where the biomass will be torrefied. We ultimately decided to go with the internal hopper design. Two major modifications were made right away to the design. The first was adjusting the size and shape of the inlet hopper to best fit inside the microwave. Secondly, we decided to swap out the existing ceramic inside the microwave and create our own ceramic chamber using fire bricks. This gave us more space and flexibility with the location of the hopper and pipes. Thermal analysis was done to see what temperature everything would get at and how much the biomass would cool since it has the potential to start on fire if it is exposed to oxygen when it is over 100 degrees Celsius. Our analysis concluded the biomass would be around 75 degrees Celsius when it entered the output hopper in our design. We also wanted to ensure that our fire brick ceramic chamber inside the microwave would be able to handle the high temperatures inside. Next was programming the Raspberry Pi and touchscreen. We started out with what the user input should be and what we wanted the user interface to look like. The Raspberry Pi was programmed to read thermocouples, so to ensure accuracy of the readings, we tested it with snow. The interface was then built using Python to allow the user to manually turn on the fans and the augers. Once the button is pushed, the Raspberry Pi switches on a corresponding relay, which then powers the function wanted. The next step was to manufacture all of our parts. Along with the testing shown earlier, testing was done to see how well the augers would move the biomass inside of the pipes. It was also done to determine the throughput and figure out how much time it would take to fill the internal hopper and how long it would take the material to exit into the output container. Here is the final assembly with some of the bricks on the inside moved to better show what the inside looks like. We added some additional supports on the input for added safety and adjustable legs on the end container so if the microwave is moved to a different table, the legs can be adjusted to match the new height. Our group would like to thank our mentor, Dr. Vold, and also wants to thank the NDSU Mechanical Engineering Department for sponsoring the project. A shout out also goes to Rob Saylor, Frank Valenzuela, and Dave Savigno for assisting with the manufacturing and welding.